There were discussions in the summer. Short revealed in November. At that time I was entertaining offers to buy the club. I had hired an advisor to process that. I guess the first thing I should say is that everything that was written in the media about that was wrong. Not really remotely resembling the truth other than one thing there was one group that we did have some advanced discussions with. I decided not to do that transaction and I have heard some criticism that because of the depth of emotion that I should be out. That possibly I should have done that. But that comes from people who don't know anything about the circumstances of that transaction. Don't know anything about the circumstances of the buyer. I've got the interests of the club at heart and I am not going to do anything that is not good for the club. I do understand the fans want me out. But I am certain they would not have been happy with that transaction. And that's why it didn't get done. There is no longer an advisor. The club is not officially for sale. If there is a legitimate buyer that I can have a direct phone conversation with, and it's a credible person, like probably every other owner of an English football team, he'll have a conversation. But that doesn't matter. What matters is what is happening on the pitch right now and where we are in the table, and what we have to do. I may or may not sell the club at some point in the future. That's completely beyond my control. Well, not completely, but mostly beyond my control. But as long as I own it, I'm going to be focused on what is good for the club. And the immediate focus is getting ourselves out of the situation that we are in now.